All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. And double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And it's just says Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work and truth and the sincerity. I want to go on, on this topic of, you know, the keys to the truth. You know, the, the right doctrine of this word, you know. When it comes down to the Bible and, you know, uh, certain secrets that are inside of it that the average person reading it wouldn't be able to understand. Um, this truth is only given to a certain amount of people, you know, and those people being the Israelites who are predominantly the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which are scattered um, across the four corners of this uh, planet known as, known as Earth. Um, basically, those are the, the the Israelites are God's chosen people. You know, the ones that the promises was given to, the ones that the whole entire Bible. Is for the 12 sons of Jacob who got his name changed to Israel and basically the the Heavenly Father who created everything the Most High his name is Yahweh in the Hebrew you know the, they, they call him Jehovah in English but the scriptures it says that we must call on his name you know in the Hebrew Bahashem stands for in the name of, and Yahweh Shah is the son, the one who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. They're both two, two separate uh, deities, you know, but they're on the same accord. Yahweh Shah is on the same accord as Yahweh, you know, so that automatically cuts that Holy Trinity scripture. You know, I just wanted to go in on, you know, some some uh, keys, you know, to, to this truth, you know, and, and for for the newcomers, you know, who, who are just learning, you know, the, the right ways, you know, it's a lot of stuff that you have to, you know, uh, be able to understand, especially when it comes down to GMS and what we teach, you know. Now, this is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, the Most High, which is, you know, Yahweh, the, the Father, and by Hashem is in the name of Yahweh Shah. So, study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, a workman that needeth not to be a saint, rightfully or rightly dividing the word of truth. You know, and that's what this this is. This is the word. You know, it's it's the truth. You know, no other book out here is teaching the truth. And as I said before, you got many scriptures in the Bible that explains who the children of Israel are. The Bible is a book filled with many prophecies. You know, and one of those prophecies is where the children of Israel would be today and who they will be under which is Esau the so-called white man according to the scriptures you know now Esau got his name changed to Edom and the so-called white people are called Edomites according to the Bible and it was a prophecy that our people will go into slavery on slave ships. I could get that right fast. And our people would be serving the so-called white man. But in the end, the so-called white man would be servants to the Israelites in the kingdom of heaven. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Which Deuteronomy 28 
is, well, from the 15th verse on down to 68 is the curses. And these curses don't apply to anybody other than the Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And these are some good scriptures to go over. There are also prophecies of our people going off and, you know, how we will be living under captivity. Now, it says, And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. So the Israelites were sold into slavery. Okay? And us here at GMS, we go into the etymology, which is the study of truth behind words. Okay? Those root words really mean a lot. So going into what Egypt means or, you know, your everyday words that you think you know the meaning to, you have to go into the to the truth behind those words. Okay? So these curses apply to no one else other than Israel. Okay? And as I said before, the so-called white man is Esau. Okay? And basically, here goes the scripture, Genesis 25 and 23. It says, And the Lord said unto her, which is Rebekah, the mother of Jacob and Esau, Jacob got his name changed to Israel, and Esau got his name changed to Edom. It says, And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, and the one shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, Behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. So Esau is the so-called white man, because they're not white. They're actually red. Okay? And as I said before, you got to go into the Hebrew. You got to study these words, the, these key words, to understand what the meaning of these words are, like Esau. Okay? Um, Esau is the so-called white man and their, um, captivity or not cap their place of rulership is, uh, right now where, where the, where the Israelites are is in America, so-called America, primarily North America, uh, where the so-called white man established their kingdom. Uh, also in the, the. Western parts of, well, not, West, well, I guess you could say Western parts of uh, Europe, you know, well, all over the world, you know, because the white man really controls this world, you know. The scripture says that the, the world was given into the, to the hands of the wicked, okay, and the wicked is Esau, but more, more specifically, America is not written in the Bible. When you, when you check out or do a search on the word America, you'll never understand or you'll never see that word. But America is known as Babylon the Great, according to the Bible, okay? It's also known as Egypt. It's also known as Sodom and Gomorrah, okay? And the only way that you will understand what Sodom and Gomorrah is or what Egypt is is if you go through the scriptures in the Old Testament because the New Testament talks about the Old Testament. Okay? Um, this is 2 Timothy 3, verse 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, and is profitable for doctrine. Okay? So all scripture, and this is a this is a New Testament verse. It says, All these scriptures. Every last one of these scriptures is profitable for doctrine, okay? And part of that doctrine is America being Babylon the Great. How would you know that America is Babylon the Great or who what Babylon the Great is in the New Testament? 
go to the Old Testament to see, okay, wh who, what is Babylon? You know, you got to study these words. It says, for reproof, okay? Now, what is reproof? When you, when you correct somebody, well, I'm going to look up the word reproof because it says for correction right here. It says a proof that by which a thing is proved or tested, conviction, okay? So when you, when somebody says something that isn't in the scriptures or they don't know what they're talking about, you go through the scriptures and you prove how the scriptures, what the, what the scriptures say, okay? It's one thing to know these scriptures, but it's more, it's another thing to apply these scriptures. And that's the most important thing. So these scriptures, all scriptures are, are good for doctrine. They're good for reproof, okay? It says for correction, for instruction in righteousness. And this is the only way that you're going to know what righteousness is. And what is righteous? Righteousness is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments inside the Bible to the best of your ability. And that's that's one of the keys to the doctrine also. Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. But is that what's going to get you salvation? No. Nobody is saved right now. Okay, you have to know who you're being saved from. And according to the Bible, you will be saved from, from your enemies. Who is the Savior? Yahweh Shah. Okay? So, first off, you have to be righteous. You have to practice this righteousness. Okay? But practicing your righteousness and practicing righteousness is not what's going to save you. Having faith is what ultimately will save you at the end of the day. Okay, not your faith. Okay, your faith will only get you but so far. Okay, um, this is James 2 and 17. It says, Even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead being alone. Okay, and part of them works is not going out there. And trying to give somebody some food. No, you got to go through the scriptures and the law, which is the Torah, which the whole book is the law, okay? But through the through the Torah, the laws, you know, you got to keep these, the word, okay? The laws. You got to also keep the statutes, okay? The the commandments. The, one of the commandments is going out, you know, in the, in the, in the uh, cold. You know, in the in the hot, permitting that the weather is, you know, not uh, unbearable, but you got to go out in the cold and in the hot. It says, Second uh, Timothy 4 and 2, preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. OK, now you can't be instant in season or out of season. If you're inside of a church building, okay, or if you're inside of your, your home, you have to go out on the corner and preach this word. The scripture says wisdom cry out in the streets, in the chief place of concourse. That's in Proverbs, okay? So that that's another key to the doctrine. That's another part of the works, keeping the commandments, okay, and, and going out and doing the works, okay? You look through the book of Proverbs, which the book of Proverbs has a lot of uh, good things in there so that you can, you know, read and you can understand wisdom and gain wisdom. OK. Another key to the scriptures is prophecy. OK. Knowing what's going down, knowing what's to come, knowing what has happened. And knowing what what uh what is happening now. Okay? You have a lot of uh different doctrines out here, but you have to go through the scriptures to find out if those doctrines are the truth or not. Okay? Like the RFID chip, which is the mark of the beast. Okay, that's a prophecy that's headed to America. 
okay? They want to chip everybody as much as they possibly can, okay? Um, now, I want to go through, this is a, a website called the Re the real Hebrew Israelites.com. And if you go on this website, you'll see the different ways of, you know, how you can study. Okay, the ancient and modern Hebrew, it gives you the name of the Most High God and the Messiah. Okay, you can go on these lessons, you can click them, and it breaks it down with the scriptures. Okay, these are some of the keys. It says who the 12 tribes of Israel are now. Okay, Deuteronomy 28 breakdown. It says how to read the Bible. It's scriptural lessons. You go through these scriptural lessons and it'll break down a lot of what is in the Bible. Okay? Like the fact that there is reincarnation in the Bible. The fact that uh, the, the UFOs are the chariots of God. Um, a, a holy woman's role. Okay, so if you're a woman, you'll see what type of keys or what, what type of things you have to do as a woman of the Lord to, to achieve your salvation. Okay, what you have to do for when it comes to contending for the faith. Um, who the false prophets are, because that's another key. You have to be aware of who's really down for the Lord and who is not. Okay. And it's also different other things, how to raise your children and basically how to be a man of the Lord, you know, all in itself, you know. So if you go through this this website, you'll get a much, uh, you know, you should get a much better understanding of the scriptures and what you should do as a man or a woman of the Lord. Okay. Now, I want to end this lesson off with this uh, quick uh, precept. This is Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. Okay, so we have to keep the laws to the best of our ability. It says, convert in the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sore, making wise the simple. Okay, the testimony knowing what's going to happen, who's going to be saved, who Yahweh Shai came for, you know, what Yahweh Shai was saying, what he was doing. Those are things that will make you wise, okay? It says, the statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. And that's another key. You have to fear the Lord, Okay? Because the Lord can, can destroy you, you know, and the, the Lord lives forever, you know. Our spirits live forever, but the Lord lives forever, and he's the one who determines whether you live or die, okay? So you, you have to fear the Lord, and, and the only ones that's going to come into this truth are the ones who fear the Lord, okay? The elect. It says, the judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. So America being destroyed, okay, a lot of the wickedness that's in this world, all these things are, are the judgments of the Lord. More to be desired are they than gold, yeah, than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned. And that's another key. We have to warn the people of what's to come. Warn the people of if they're not doing the right thing, that the Lord would destroy them. And in keeping of them, there is a great reward. Okay? So if you do these things, you'll you'll receive that that the kingdom of heaven. Okay? And that's the reward. That's the thing that we're hoping and praying for. Okay? So with that, hope you guys have been edified. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasim, Yahweh Shah, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and the sincere Salawan to all the Akim out here.
that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Shalom.